Hello, everyone. I want to share the story that happened not too long ago that just disgusts me. And no one talked about it. No black activists. It wasn't on CNN hardly. It's a story that was just gone and forgotten. And I feel like who's going to stand up for little black girls when things happen? Who's going to hear their cries and their voices and give a crap about what goes on? This is an 11-year-old girl who was beaten very bad, so bad by two adult women who were Mexican that she had to get eye surgery and no arrests have been made. She says, I almost blacked out. This happened in Chicago and I'm not totally surprised by it. You know, every part of the country is different, but there can be some hostilities um, that some Mexican women do have. I have experienced it. Not all the time, but I have experienced it more than once. And people are still people at the end of the day. And there are a number of people who are prejudiced and racist. And they felt like they could get away with this. And they did, you know. Again, we've heard of some of the hostilities. We've heard of some of the tension between Mexican and black people in California a lot. Not necessarily always in Texas, a little bit. Again, sometimes it can depend on your area because not all places are the same. But this was in Chicago and Chicago is known for having, uh, it's, you know, a lot of different people there of different backgrounds. But it doesn't matter where you are in the world or in this country. You can't escape racism or people who are prejudiced. It exists literally everywhere you go and people who don't dislike you. But this is a child. She's 11 years old. And I'm outraged that I don't see this being talked about. I don't see the Al Sharptons and the Ben Crumps. And I don't have an issue with Ben Crump that much, even though I did hear he's not touching on certain stories that should be touched on. But at the end of the day, I want to see BLM. Like, is she going to get any justice? A demand to see camera footage, something, you know, it might be too late for it. So I want to share with you the story, the article of what happened. Okay. I almost blacked out again. Chicago 11 year old was beaten so bad by two adult women. She has to get two eye surgeries. No arrests have been made. This was an 11 year old girl that was in Chicago, physically and verbally attacked by two women from her Lawndale neighborhood. In addition to hitting her with a bottle and punching her in the face, an 11-year-old girl, she also says the child that they hurled racial slurs at her. The incident is being investigated by the Chicago Police Department, but the two adults who caused injuries to Trinity Washington's right eye that required surgery have not been taken into custody. Look at her eye. Think of the trauma she's going through, especially when she believes that I'm in a melting pot of America. You know, these other groups are right here with me. These are girls, Mexican women. They're grown adults. Do you think she imagined that they would take a bottle? Two feminine, fit and friendly, right? Mexican women and bust her upside the eye. Two grown women to an 11 year old girl and yell racist words towards her. You think she imagined something like this would happen? It says the women were hosting a Mexican Independence Day celebration. This was Sunday, September 17th. And used the N-word towards the Black family in Chicago. That word shouldn't be used towards us. It shouldn't be used against anybody because that's a bad word, said Trinity. The family claims that minutes after being verbally harassed, the neighbors assaulted the child because she didn't move her three-month-old Yorkie, Barbie, out of their path. Their attack first began with a bottle and escalated to the use of them using their bare hands to pummel the middle school cheer captain. The little girl says, I looked up and a bottle was being thrown in my face. I dropped down because I felt something hard. She punched me in my nose. When she punched me, I almost blacked out and I fell again. My eyes in so much pain and my nose. 
The injuries were so severe she was taken to a hospital and received surgery on the night of the beating. She is now preparing to go for a second surgery to mend her eye on Friday. A police report says the incident is being listed as aggravated battery of a child. What about a hate crime? What about a hate crime? But no arrests have been made pending the investigation. The sixth grade honor student, her mother, Wanda Porter, wants justice. You're damn right. I want justice. I want them to see her. Everyone has been so supportive, sharing the love, letting her know she's beautiful. I'm just heartbroken that this happened to her. On social media, her mother wrote, I'm so hurt behind this. Please continue to pray for my baby. Washington says she's baffled as to why this all happened to her. I didn't do anything. All I was trying to do was put my dog in the house. Noting that one of the women stopped, stepped on the small dog during the altercation. Barbie survived being stepped on. Washington is hoping that things will get better for her too. So that is it for this story. I wanted to share this story because maybe you can spread this story. I feel like there had to be maybe some cameras around. Maybe she can remember where she was in front of the home during the celebration. You know, it's just evilness to me. People will say racism. Yes, racism. But what it really comes down to, these are demons. These are evil, nasty people. Women. Women beating up on little girls. Beating a little girl they don't know. An honor student, cheer, cheerleader, a little innocent girl. Beating her that she has to get eye surgery with a bottle. Punching her. She's blacking out. Stumping on her dog. Yelling the N-word at her. You see this world we live in? You see this world? Will anybody say anything? Will there be a demand for justice for a full investigation? Something for her? She's going to be scarred for life. She's going to be scarred emotionally and mentally. You know, a lot of the kids grow up hearing about racism and history books and stuff. They don't think they're actually going to experience this in 2023. But I had always said in America, this is a country where people immigrate to every year and they come from countries that has not developed when it comes to race relations, where there's extreme racism still in their own countries and they come over here and they bring it over here. So I don't think racism in America I mean, not everybody's racist here, but there are a number who are. It's not going to improve until the world improves because this is a place where the whole world comes to. There are people moving to this country who have never even seen black people. You know what I'm saying? So what are we going to do? I don't think you can't stop everybody, but the people who claim they care and love of all races should come together. And demand justice for her. You know, I wonder, did someone pay her medical bills? I wonder why it wasn't labeled a hate crime. It is a hate crime. Not just aggravated assault and battery of a little girl. She was targeted. It was a hate crime. That's how I feel. And I want her to get justice. And I want the black community to stand up for little black girls. And not every time something happens to a man, it gets national attention. This is a little girl and she deserves to have attention about this story. So that's all I want to say. And I thank you for joining me. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and hit the bell. All people are welcome here. But I talk about real stuff up over here and I want this girl to get justice. So thank you all for joining me. Bye, everyone, again, and I will have more stories to share with you very, very soon. Bye.